Well, it's good to see everyone's adapting to their new business roles. Brian, I like your accessories. I will. I will go get it. Mr. Quagmire, the Davidson account is waiting for you in the conference room. All right, thanks, Marlene. Tell him I'll be right in. All right, Glenn, time to go make millions. What happened to you, man? I grew up. That's what happened. What happened to the free-loving Quagmire was banging ten chicks at a time? I still do that. Oh, good. Yep. Can I have some money? Oh, get out of here, you bum. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's eyed. Daddy, you're awake. Oh, Carter, I'm so relieved. Uh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, you had a heart attack, Daddy, but you're all right now. Yeah, he cool. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an African-American heart monitor made by your company. What? Yes, it has two settings, Barry White and Bill Cosby. Beep, beep, boop, beep. My company makes no such thing. Well, you see, Daddy, when you were in a coma, Peter stepped in and took charge of Pewdishman Industries. Zippity zoopity geepity boppity zoopity zickity zackity boopity boppity ghost dad. <sighs> well, you made it, Peter. You're a big shot in charge of a whole bunch of people. Peggy, hold my calls for a few minutes, please. Yes, Mr. Griffin. Well, buddy, you're in love with Peggy. What a mess. Griffin, get the hell out of my building! Holy crap, Mr. Pewdishman, you're okay! You're damn right I'm okay, and I'm here to reassume charge of my company. Maybe I don't want to leave. Maybe I like being a fat cat. What are you saying? I'm saying it's my company now, and it's better than it ever was when you were running it. Security, we have a situation in the conference room. I'll give you a situation, you fat turd! Gentlemen, please remove this man from the building. What the? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! This is my company! Throw that guy out! Sorry, Mr. Pewterschmidt, but we work for Mr. Griffin now. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! I'm not getting in that elevator! Don't you dare throw me out of this lobby! Don't you... Damn it! Hey, what are you doing out here? I can't get in the building. Uh, Peggy? Yes, Mr. Griffin. That fart I have at three, can you push that up to now? Very good, sir. <laughs> Lois, how could you let your idiot husband take over my company? He fired all my staff, his stupid ideas are bankrupting Pewterschmidt Industries, and now he won't step down! I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? Get that! I've run that company for 40 years. He even froze my corporate bank accounts. I'm broke. Oh, that's ridiculous. I I'll talk to him as soon as he gets home. What the hell is that? Damn it, Peter! Your plane set my lawn on fire! Yeah, that ought to cover it. Peter, I don't want your money! Well, fine then. Have a box of Jeremy Irons cereal. If you're looking for a prize at the bottom, there is none. Only more cardboard. Peter, this has gone on long enough. I want you to make things right with Daddy. It's his company. It's my company. It's your company. Three's company. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his. What? I'm sorry, Lois. We all had some pot brownies on the plane. Hey, Peter, are you seeing this rabbit? No? Well, I sure am. You know something? You're not qualified to sit in that chair. Oh, aren't I? Ah! Ah! Maybe there's a rabbit head under here. Ah! 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 Peter, all of my father's assets are tied up in that corporation. If you freeze up his money, he's not going to have anything to live on. Now you are going to make amends with Daddy, and that's final. All right, Lois, if that's what you want. Mr. Pewterschmidt, be in my office tomorrow morning at 9. I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I like the sound of that laugh. I knew I didn't like the sound of that laugh. Peter, this is unacceptable. What gives you the right to treat me like this? You've been treating me like crap for 20 years, Mr. Pewterschmidt, and now I'm the one in charge. Hang on a second.
clean that up. Carter, as your boss, I command you to have a viewing party for tonight's episode of The Big Bang Theory. And you have to go cubicle to cubicle inviting people. Oh, come on, Peter. I'm, I'm not good with rejection. I'm your boss. Now do it. Hi. I was gonna catch The Big Bang Theory tonight and wondered if you wanted to come over and watch. What? What? What is that? It's a comedy. It's on CBS. I'm really into it. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch it with you. All right, if you change your mind, here's a flyer. If you do decide to come, I'm just asking that you bring an appetizer. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. See, Peter, I told you, no one wants to come. This is awful. You're not off the hook. You still got to have that party. Babs, you want to sit and watch? No. I'll have you know that I can bench press over 690 billion nanograms. Sheldon, that's less than two pounds. It sounded better the way I said it. Ha ha ha! Oh, oh, when I tell that joke at work tomorrow, people, pe people, people are gonna be sorry they didn't come. They're, they're gonna, this, this, this was, this, this was a good night. Carter, as your boss, I'm ordering you to pay a compliment to this sharply dressed Asian man. You look very nice. What else? Uh... What about my shoe? They're nice, too. How you think my house smell? Not oniony. You good, man. I pat you on the head and feed you from the hand. And then he made me clean out the fridge in the employee lounge, and the employees were mad at me because I, I threw out food that they still wanted. And I don't know what's in there. Oh, that's it. Peter is completely out of control. We've got to do something to take him down and get your company back. Right, right, but how? In order to oust an idiot, we've got to think like an idiot. Let's see. What's Peter's weakness? He's got to have a weakness. Swamp monsters. Swamp monsters, of course! Lois, what are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Of course it's okay. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, you know, that whole swamp monster story. Swamp monster? Uh, you haven't heard? Heard what? Oh, I, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just apparently somebody flushed a baby swamp monster down the toilet somewhere not far from here. What? Who would flush a baby swamp monster? Don't they know what would happen? Well, apparently it has happened. And now it's grown up and is attacking important businessmen. I'm an important businessman. What the hell was that? It sounds like maybe a swamp monster who needs to project a little more. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. Whoa, whoa. Ah, swamp monster! Whoa, ah. whoa. Quick, Peter, sign this legal document giving the company back to Daddy so you won't get eaten. Oh, I don't understand, but nothing makes sense in these swamp monster times. Ah. We did it, Daddy. I have my husband back, and you have your company. Sorry, I'm late, Lois. Okay, we're we doing the swamp monster thing. Wait, if you're Danny, then who? Swamp monster! Find out who you really are. <gasps> Dr. House? Indeed, Lois. And if you don't mind, I'll address you in my natural speaking voice, as I've grown so weary of doing an American accent. Do you want to come to my Big Bang viewing party next week? Daddy, you don't have to do that anymore. I know, I know. I, I, I like it now. Well, I'm sorry you lost the company, Peter, but I think it's for the best. You were turning into a real jerk. Well, maybe so. But I sure am going to miss being a corporate big shot. Well, you'll always be a big shot in this family, sweetheart. Thanks, honey. And I got a little surprise for you. In that contract you signed, you got to keep the corporate plane. <gasps> yeah! Peter, how are you doing that? I, 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 don't, I don't know, Lois. I'm scared. Well, come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. Well, who, who do I call? I, I, I don't know. A, a police, a fire, a, a scientist. Call a scientist. Uh, okay, you can stay here with your father. I'm gonna go find a scientist. <laughs> 